Hey, yeah, uh, Julius XX here. Today I'm going to show you how to drive down Mulholland Drive, which is a popular Angelino scenic route. Mulholland Drive was named after William Mulholland, an LA civil engineer, I believe. It's also the name of a movie directed by David Lynch, which is actually a mystery movie, which I should actually probably watch that. But, anyways, I've been in LA for about three months now. I've done a few Angelino things, but one big Angelino thing to do is check out Mulholland Drive. There's a few stops on the way that I want to check out, which are the Nike Missile Air Control, mm, a Buddhist temple, and the view from Hollywood Bowl. So, you know, stick with me and check it out. I made it to the first stop at the Hollywood Bowl to see the view of LA in the distance. The parking here is limited, so it's pretty fucking hard to get a spot. As you can tell behind me. And I'm actually parked in the handicapped spot and I feel bad. Well, Holland Road is built in the 1920s by this guy. So once you get all the way up to the top of the Hollywood Bowl, you can actually see the Hollywood boy in the distance here. I should probably get going because I'm parked in the handicap spot. But I've been driving on Mulholland Drive now for about an hour. A few things. If you like winds and turns and curves, Mulholland Drive is definitely for you. As you can see in some of the video footage that I've uploaded, there's a lot of winds and a lot of turns. Um, make sure that your car is good in terms of turning and speed and all that stuff. Like if you're driving a heavy ass tank, you're probably gonna have a really bad time up in Mulholland Drive because there are a lot of turns and you're going 40 miles per hour. You'll be going fast up and uh, with these winds and turns. Second thing is make sure you've gassed up and you've had your pit stop because Mulholland Drive, well, the area in which I'm in, is mainly just houses, and so there's no gas stations, no bathrooms. So make sure that you don't need to make any stops. And the other thing is, so I showed you the Hollywood Bowl um, area, the Hollywood Bowl overlook. There are like ten different ones that I pass by when you're on Mulholland Drive. Just make sure that when you're gonna stop at one of these um, overlooks that you know it's coming up or you know where to stop because some of them kind of come out of nowhere and you know there tends to be a lot of cars behind you so if you stop abruptly or whatever that could be dangerous it could be unsafe for people that are behind you so just make sure that you are aware of where you're going to stop and some of these overlooks don't have any parking lots just a little bit of an aside like a kind of a you know a little bit of a lip that you can park in but sometimes they'll be too packed so keep that in mind so i've now driven to the nike or nike missile control site la96 the road is really rocky here 
but if you want to get your hike in, this is a good area to do it. I don't think it's, no, it's like N-I-K-E. It's not actually Nike, but it's affiliate. Like maybe it's Nike, I don't know, but. I had to wear my new shoes today. Okay, I finally made it at the base at least. But let's see what these signs say. So these are actually, this is actually an, like an actual cold era site and it's still here. But it's pretty fucking cool that it's open to the public. The hike from the parking area took me about 20, 30 minutes. So it's not too bad. I don't think I'm really dressed for hiking though. But that's what I do. Okay, well as expected, it's not Nike as in the shoe. It looks like it's referring to Nikita Khrushchev and it's just a short form of his name. This is insane. Holy shit. Just picture it man, like years ago these people were up here monitoring other people's space and war activities and shit. That's insanity. Let's go up. There's nobody here. Yes. Okay, well, there's nothing really up here, but except a view. Okay, so final step for this uh, Mulholland Drive guide is a um, recommendation that I saw online to go to the Malibu Hindu Temple, which is a apparently a very um, well-designed and very kind of serene place. So I won't be talking too loud while I'm there because people are probably meditating and stuff, but it's supposed to be really gorgeous. chill pretty chill really pretty really beautiful i recommend checking it out checking it out so if you're liking my video you know what to do catch you in the next one